Okay, how's it, YouTube? So it is Sunday night, and I am making I'm, I'm tater. Left <laughs> I'm left-handed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can do it this way. That's okay. They don't have to watch you shred cheese. They know how to shred cheese. Um, I'm making I tater tot casserole for the first time, and I actually was going to make it in the crock pot, and then we decided it would probably be come out crispier if we did it in the oven, and because it's such a nice fall. Oh skin out to the trees blowing outside our window. It's such a nice crisp fall day. To me it's a good day to run the oven. And I'm not talking super loud because Miss Mina's over there rocking in her. And Mr. Mason passed out on the uh, Yeah, so. He didn't want to take a nap in his bed. <laughs> so Mama said, come on out with your blanket. She rubbed his head and he passed out. He passed out. <laughs> you, Mama rubs anybody's head, they pass out. That's a mom Mine thing. Too. I think it's a mom thing. Mama rubs my head, I pass out. <laughs> okay, so Tater Tot Casserole, you guys wanted to see how I'm doing it. Look, I've never done this before, and to be quite honest, I've read several, several, several recipes when I see several probably about 23 25 different recipes so I'm winging it <laughs> with how I think I that we'd like it or our family would eat it so that's what we're gonna do so right now I've got Matt don't shred your fingers yeah you do. see shreds don't, shred. <laughs> don't just be careful with that metal nice just. so this is Colby Jack right I believe this yep. is Colby Jack so we're shredding a little over a pound of it um we, of course, buy it in the block because not only is it cheaper, but you don't get any wood pulp from the uh, pre-sliced processed stuff that uh, they put in the bags. That, that's what that powdery milled, uh, film uh, residue on your cheese is. It's a preservative, but it's made from wood pulp. Look it up because I couldn't believe it. It's cel cellulose, is it? Cel cellulose. Yeah. So... Anyway, so we shred our own. I've got here, um, I think about six or seven scallions that I just chopped up, or green onions, how whatever you call it in your neck of the woods. <laughs> I've got some sour cream. We're going to use about a cup of that. Um, over on the other counter, I have um, two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Uh, I'm kind of cheating with that um, instead of, you know, making my own. Um, but you could definitely do that because I know a lot of you out there make your own soups. And you guys know how I love to use up my leftovers. It's the whole goal of my weekly food meal planning. Um, so I've got leftover meatloaf from, um, when did we make She's this? Over you. <laughs> She's just hearing me talk. Um, when did we make these? Thursday night, I think? Friday night? Thursday or Friday Thursday night? Thursday or Friday. It was Thursday. We had Chinese food Friday night. Yeah. So Thursday night I made some, um, bit, actually, I made the mix. Matt made the loaves, and they're huge. <laughs> I think they're like a half pound each. They actually cooked up a little fatter. <laughs> I made so, them a little more big baked potato size. <laughs> most recipes call for about a pound of meat. Some I've noticed call for two. I say it's however meaty you want it. Um, you can use ground turkey if you want. I um, recipe had five and a half pounds. Yeah, you can brown it in a pan or whatever with onion. My kids don't really like onions, so we're just going to stick with the green scallions. Actually, they all like the reconstituted. Oh, they, they did? The they liked the dehydrated onions. No, I didn't want onion. I liked onions with Luke. Wow, well, that's good to know because this actually has the dehydrated onion in it. Yes. So, and they liked it, huh? So it kind of reconstituted. It looks a lot like the little McDonald's. Chopped, um, it's like McDonald's uh, onions. Nice. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chop this up and I'm going to put it in a bowl and I'm just going to throw it maybe in the microwave for, I don't know, 30 seconds just to take the chill off. Um, but you use what you want. I just want to use up leftovers. So I'm going to kind of get all this together and um, take you over to my other counter and show you how I'm going to throw it in a bowl. All right, guys. So we have our bowl. And here is my just cream of mushroom soup. And we're going to put two of these in here. Or at least I am. You guys are just kind of... Watching me how I'm going to concoct this. And we'll see how it turns out. And if it's bad, <laughs> I will tell you what I would have done different. So, 
There's one. And here's two. Okay, next thing we're going to add is some sour cream. Let's pop that open. And it says you should add a cup, so that's roughly what I'm going to add. Of course, I'm not going to measure it. I'm going to kind of plop it in there. Scoop off all that wonderfulness. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some cheese. I think probably, uh, I don't know, maybe that's a three quarters of a cup. And get that in there. And then drop in my green onions. Okay, let me go ahead and get a spatula here. Let me get this stirred up. And then I'm going to drop in a pound of bacon that uh, we just, my husband actually cut this up and cooked it for me this morning after making breakfast into little bits and pieces. And we're just going to throw that in. Because you know. Everything tastes better with bacon. All right, then last but not least, let me go ahead and add in our, well, you would add in crumbled ground beef or turkey. I'm using leftover meatloaf. And I did not nuke it because I'm trying not to use my microwave. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can get away with not using it to the point where it's just non-existent and we can just get rid of the microwave altogether from the kitchen. Um, so I decided just to kind of throw it in cold and kind of chunky. So it's actually going to be like, I guess, or like little chunks of meatball. <laughs> then crumbled meat. But... Um, you know, use your own discretion if you've got leftover meatloaf. Hey, give it a try. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this a good mix. Now, it's up to you if you want to add any seasoning to this. I think I'm going to add, you know, I've got a lot of seasoning in my, um, I've got some garlic and some onion and um, salt and pepper um, in my meatloaf. I also had a little bit of ketchup, so I have that. I think I'm going to add... A little bit of Worcestershire sure, 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 sure sauce. Um, I guess that would be maybe a teaspoon to a tablespoon, maybe. And I'm gonna go grab my pepper. Add some pepper into this. Just a little bit of salt, not much salt, um, because we have that bacon in here, so I think the bacon will make it salty enough. All right, then let's go ahead and grab a casserole dish, and let me grab the tater tots, and uh, we'll get this thing uh, built. Okay, guys, so I have a huge, big old bag. I got this at Sam's Club. It is actually like it's eight pounds of tater tots. Um, you do not need a bag this big, but you know, get yourself a bag of tater tots. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
layer the bottom of my casserole dish here with tots. I'm not going to be fussy and then being perfectly neat. Eh, and mistake number one, because I thought to myself, you know, I'm using a glass casserole dish, so instead of putting them in plain, I really should use some nonstick spray just so that they don't stick. So, learn from my mistake. And I'm just going to spray this. And then I'm going to add my tater tots. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Oh, my little Mina Mina is waking up. Let's see if she'll take a bink. Okay, all right, let's get this rushed and going here. All right, so then I'm going to take my um, my stuffing here. Now, I've read some people just put the cream, the I guess the mixture, right at the bottom and then layer it with the tater tots on top. Um, I watched the Kraken Girls, I think is what their name is, and they actually... Um, when they put it in their crock pot, they layer the tater tots on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to dump this in, get my baby, get her to stop crying, and I will be right back and show you what this looks like. All right, everybody. What's cracking? Matt here. This is what we're going to call a tag team video. I have tagged Heather out to, uh, feed Mina and um, that's just what it's like around our house so we're gonna finish up and I've got the uh, the right ingredients and the right instructions I'm gonna take care of this bad boy so she's walked through to this this far we're gonna finish this up um, with a another layer of tater tots on the top okay so don't be afraid to drop one on the counter and then pick it back up and stick it back in the casserole. That's right. We're wasting nothing here. All right, so after we put our layer of tater tots uh, on the casserole, we are going to top it with one final layer of cheese. So, now this bad boy might look like this, which is, I'm going to press this down a little bit just to kind of give it some, uh, some roots in that cream of mushroom and the cheese and the rest of this casserole. Give it a little press down if you want it to stick a little. And plus, excuse me, that'll give us a little bit more room for when we pile that cheese on top. So gonna grab a nice handful of cheese gently bring it over drop a little bit on the floor and clean it up later all right so you can also for those of you that go oh my gosh mine is overflowing as well you can throw a cookie sheet under there and that will catch any excess cheese that melts over any of that delicious cream of mushroom that might bubble up so we're going to have just about the right amount of cheese left. We're going to use all everything I shredded. And I'm going to make this thing look real pretty. Finish up Mama's recipe right. And we are going to top it, finish it with some salt and pepper pepper to taste salt to taste you know how it goes 
some of the foods we're using already have salt in them. Uh, some of them are have certain things, just depends on what you like. And uh, then we are going to do a final, final little sprinkling with some parsley. Okay. And I'm sure she mentioned this to you, but the whole idea of the this casserole and finally some chives. Just throw that in there. Chopped chives. We've got dried. Didn't have any fresh at the moment, so it's always good to have something on the shelf that you can put in there. Um, the whole idea is to basically have this thing like looking like and tasting like a massive loaded baked potato uh, with meat inside, not just the bacon. So that's it, folks. And that thing looks badass. And um, we put it in the oven, 425 preheated oven for 35 to 40 minutes and then that's it your creation should come to fruition and it should look delicious and gooey and melty and you just spoon that bad boy out and serve to the family so that's all there is to it folks um, I don't really have anything else uh, to go out with other than peace and uh, we're gonna see how this thing turns out and uh, mama will probably come back and do a little blurb once it's out of the oven to uh, finish out the video. All right, peeps. Later. I'm going to say hi, Mina. Okay. I'm say hi, Mina. <laughs> She's sitting in her little rocker near the kitchen here. All right. Ready to see this casserole? All right. I'm going to take you right over. Oh, look at that. Oh, you might have to turn on the big light so we can see a little bit better. Boom. Ooh, look at that. The tater tots are nice cheese. and crispy. It is bubbling. And it's got what that cheese that? browned. It's got a nice cr crunch, crispy, crisp on top. Nice Give that a shot. Cream. There's some of that meat. There's a little meat there. And there's that cream of mushroom. Oh, All right, Jesus. listen. Listen, I think you can hear it. Sizzling. Okay, I'm going to blow on it. <laughs> Steaming my glasses. <laughs> I've mastered the hot chew. <laughs> Good and pretty easy and Kind of inexpensive wow. to make. I mean, it didn't take much. Daddy. You guys saw it. the ingredients are pretty. <laughs> That's phenomenal. You know, Daddy. and you can put on in it what you want. I saw some people put in corn. Um, I'm going to serve corn on the side. That's the vegetable we're going to go with tonight. Corn or green beans. Um, I saw people add peas. Um, I just prefer to keep the veggies, I don't know, on the side. I don't know. But, I mean, you could try it with the veggies. You know what would be good in this? Corn would uh, be bad in there. Broccoli would be really good. Mm, broccoli and cauliflower broccoli would be cheese. really good in yeah. this. So, there you have it. There's the tater tot casserole. Now I'm going to serve it up. And um, when I do, I will uh, bring you guys back and get the kids' reaction and uh, see how they like it. Because, really, <laughs> that's how we decide here if it's a winner. Uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back. All right, guys, <laughs> I'm over on the couch nursing, but I want everyone's opinion on what they think. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Want to do that thumbs up? We want the food. How about the food? A thumbs up? Thumbs up, buddy. Wait, hold it up for mama. Yeah. Everybody liked it? Hold it on over your plate so she can see it. Alright, so it's a kid winner. <laughs> Alright guys, if you guys give this a try, let me know. <laughs> Comment down below. Bless you, Daddy. Winner, winner, casserole dinner. <laughs> there you go. Something easy. And in, uh, next time I'm going to try it in the crock pot and see what the difference is. So, Alright guys, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Okay. I'm just going to end this video with a picture of Mina. For the first time, laying in her crib, which we put 
in our bedroom here next to Matt's dresser and by the door and we moved the cloth diapers out there and um, she still nurses every two to three hours yes. hi Mina hi Mina <laughs> you love your sissy yeah yeah so anyway so this is the first time she's laying in her crib yep. and uh, We'll see how rooming in with her is, at least until she can sleep through the night a bit. And, um, yeah. Alright, guys. <laughs> that's it. That's a wrap. Say, that's a wrap. Mason? Wrap. Wrap. <laughs> <laughs>